The Great Search, brought to you by DigiKey and AW Thanks DigiKey every single week. Lady Ada uses her power of engineering to find the things you need on DigiKey.com, which is really handy now during this global parts shortage. So, yes. Lady Ada, what are you searching for this week okay. on DigiKey? Well, you know, this is actually a, uh, a watcher request. Uh, somebody posted and said, hey, um, you know, I'm working with the SAMD 21 and 51 processors, these ARM Cortex processors, um, and I want to burn the bootloader, and I'm having some trouble using a, a you know, a low-cost Simpsons DAP board, and normally I would get a J-Link Mini, um, which is, I'll show the J-Link Mini, and they said it's no longer available, and it's one of those chips, it's one of those products that's been strongly affected by the chip shortage, because I think it uses either a Freescale or, or STM chip, um, those chips aren't available, and so the company's like, instead of paying you know, five times the cost for the chips, they've just temporarily discontinued the uh, J-Link Mini so they can focus on their other products. Um, so they said, hey, what can I use instead? And so I gave them a recommendation, uh, and then I was like, you know what? It would make for a really good, great search because I can also talk about um, programmers and debuggers. So let's go to the computer. I'm going to tell you a story. Okay, so... Um, we make a lot of boards with ARM Cortex chips. Uh, I really like the ARM Cortex series. Um, they're really great. And one thing that you'll notice is really common is they have uh, what you know you see on my screen here, this little two by five headers, SWD header. Um, the Raspberry Pi Pico that also came out has a three pin header. They kind of simplified it because they, they want to have something low cost. Um, but it's basically you need ground power, SWD and SWC. And um, there's, there's two bodies of thought about how to program uh, Cortex chips. One is um, you don't want to spend a lot. You want to spend about 20, 30 bucks. You can get a, a generic Simpsons stat board. Um, these work with many uh, open source tools like OpenOCD. Um, I find uh, Simpsons stat programmers to be like, if they work great, they work great. But the moment they don't work so great, it's a little bit of a nightmare, um, you know, especially some chips like the NR51 really struggled with Simsys stap programmers because of the way they multiplex the reset line, um, in which case the, the real answer is to go to using a J-Link. And um, DigiKey stocks all the J-Link uh, programmers. So, you know, I know they're not inexpensive, but if you are spending any amount of time programming ARM Cortex chips, I really, 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 really strongly recommend it, especially if you're doing contract work. Bill it, it expense it, it's, um, it's you know, tax deductible, it's a, it's a working tool. Um, the J-Link base is, is my go-to. Um, it supports, you know, there's, it's firmware upgradable, it supports like pretty much every ARM Cortex chip in the known universe. Um, and it has debugging and programming in it, and it just manages all the weirdnesses. Like every chip is a little bit weird. Um, like, you know, the Pico has two cores, for example. Um, the J-Link can, can handle all of that. Uh, there's also, you know, more expensive ones that do more. They do emulation and stuff. Um, if you are a, a student, there's the uh, EDU uh, version, which is less expensive, although, again, that's been like, temporarily discontinued. Um, and what I had a lot of people... Uh, I pointed a lot of people to was the J-Link EDU Mini. So if you were a student, um, normally I'd be like, this is my pick because it was like $20, $25, comes with a cable. You know, it's very bare bones, but it, it works like a dream. I love the J-Link Mini. Again, I don't use it because I'm not doing educational. I'm, I'm running a company. Um, but for, for students and beginners, it's you can't beat the price. But like I said, it is affected by the chip shortage, um, sadly. So right now, there's you can't even do a back order. Nobody knows when it's going to come back. I hope I hope one day soon. Um, but in the meantime, if you have something like the Metro M4, like the SAMD series, again, you can use Open OCD. But I I have found that it is very um, challenging, and especially if you want to use. Um, Atmel Studio with debugging support. So if you want to do step debugging in a way that's really nice, where you know you can see um, in you know the Visual Studio like you know version of Atmel Studio where your code is, and you can set breakpoints. It's, it's again graphical. I know you can always use GDB, but uh, let's say you um, you've been using GDB for more than half your life, and you want a little bit of a break. Um, Atmel Studio is great, recommended for SAMD chips, and. I will say, um, 
you know, as of this last I checked, Atmel Studio does not support generic open OCD SimSys DAP uh, programmers or in, in any way that I found easy to do. It only supports two things, J-Links, which again, you have to either spend a significant amount because you, or you have an EDU Mini, or they support the Atmel ICE, which I'm going to call the Atmel ICE. Um, and the ICE is in-circuit emulator. It is Atmel's tool. It is, again, only for Atmel chips, but it's really good. It supports AVRs and SAMDs, and it's, it's never let me down. You know what I mean? It's like I've needed to program chips. The chips are being freaky and weird. They're not programming. The fuses are, like, messed up. It always seems to kind of bring the chip to life. Um, you know, yeah, I love the USB teeny, but really the ML ice is what I use. Um, so, um, you know, yes, you know, the J links are around. I searched for J link, but, uh, Atmel, and what's interesting is I was like, oh, you know, I was going to recommend the Atmel ICE and I was a little worried because I was like, oh, I hope it's not too expensive. Um, but what's actually kind of cool is there is the, uh, Atmel ICE basic, which, which I do kind of. Uh, recommends what I've got. It's um, this kind of large, you know, white cube thing, and it even comes with um, the cables. Uh, and this is like about 130 bucks. But if you're on a budget, you want to save a couple dollars. I can recommend. They also. Um... Oh yeah, sorry. There's also the uh, the ICE like fancy, which comes with like all, a bunch of accessories. But the PCBA, which is just the, the circuit board on the inside, is only like $80. I mean, it's, it's cool because it's like really bare bones. Um, and it's got the uh, headers. It doesn't have a case. It doesn't have the cable, um, the micro USB cable or the SAM, the um, SWD cable. But it's a lot cheaper. It's $80, which I think is, is you know, it's like a fourth, fifth the price of the... Um, J-Link, and again, if you're if you're pretty much using Atmel chips, AVRs, Atmels, I, like there's also firmware upgradable. It will always support every single AVR Atmel chip like ever created on this planet. And then uh, don't forget, you will want the cable that goes from that to um, this little two x five header. Uh, DJK has tons of these in stock as well. So this is the uh, two x five, one point two seven millimeter. Uh, socket header cable and then you know we have a guide on how you can use it with Atmel Studio um, you know here you can see it is detected in Atmel Studio um, you can select any chip again back down to the uh, 1890s um, to the at X megas uh, you know in this case I have SWD and you can um, uh, hold on I can I have to you know selected it it can uh, read the memory, you can write the flash, you can mess with fuses, um, and of course you can do step debugging. So I, you know, it's, um, other than the J-Link, this is my go-to tool, especially since the J-Link um, doesn't do AVRs uh, and the Atmel ICE does. So uh, it's my product recommendation slash search. Um, hopefully you'll, you'll pick one of these up. I do, I do find them to be quite handy. Um, and especially if you've struggled with, um, uh, Simpsys DAP. I, I, believe me, a Simpsys DAP board, they're great for 20 bucks. Uh, this will save you uh, many hours of uh, frustration. That's a great search.